Hey folks, this is Jeff with SimSamurai.net. What you're looking at here is the GoFlight configurator for GoFlight Avionics for flight simulation. And what you're looking at uh, is a little screen for their unit called the GoFlight uh, P8, which I use as an audio selector panel, um, which is right here. Very handy and works great, uh, much like a real world. Uh, audio selector, uh, you know, minus some volume knobs and such, but allows you to switch between your comms and navs and audio selection. And basically, uh, you know, you can use this and you can select it by actually pressing the buttons and then assigning it in the uh, software configurator, or you can use your mouse and select it on the screen. Uh, via the buttons up here or the drop down list and then via their drop down list uh, right here where I'm circling my mouse you can then select the function that you want to assign the buttons to on the actual hardware unit and so as you can see you also have to do this for both uh, Flight Sim X or Flight Sim 2004 so if you're running both sims or, or if you're just running one then you know you only have to do this once but uh, I'm running both right now and so I have to do this individually uh, for each time um, through there for Flight Sim 2004 or Flight Sim X and so basically uh, you know depending on what you you select I you know use the same settings obviously for both sims um, and so this is audio panel COM1 text select on channel 1 or button one rather all the way through button eight and as you can see down here um, you just select the corresponding uh, trigger function in the drop down menu and so for this little unit I have audio panel COM1 text select audio panel COM2 text select on uh, on button two and then audio panel comms for both uh, select so you can listen to both uh, number four button is audio panel nav one ident, button five audio panel nav two ident, button six audio panel DME ident for distance measuring equipment. Um, uh, button seven is audio panel marker ident for your ILS outer marker. Um, button eight is audio panel ADF ident. And you can also select your panel brightness and so this little fader knob here will adjust the uh, the lighting level of the LED on the actual hardware unit which is really nice a uh, little function you can lower the brightness level or increase it I usually just leave it right in the middle uh, where the default is which is fine so anyway you go through this configurator and actually I bring this up first in the software and then plug each USB device in individually and configure each one individually it seems to work the best um, in that method rather than plugging in all four you can plug in all four at once if you want to but uh, just to be rather safe than sorry I just plug it in each device one at a time to my USB hub um, and then configure it and you want to actually open the GoFlight configurator first so that it's open like this and it'll actually say, you know, no devices found. You can now plug in the devices. Um, and then so with this screen open, I then plug in uh, the USB device one at a time, configure it again, you know, for both FS2004 and then FSX, one device at a time, then plug in the next device, uh, which I will show you in the next, uh, next video, and configure it, and so on. Um, GoFlight is very well respected, I think, in the flight simulation community for making very nice uh, professional equipment. Um, being a real private private pilot here in San Diego, California, and flying in a multitude of general aviation aircraft, I can attest to the fact that their equipment uh, is, is bar none some of the best, or if not the best, on the market um, as far as uh, USB you know plug and play devices go their configurator utility is really easy to use really user intuitive I really like it a lot uh, you can configure stuff really quickly it saves it in a config file too um, so you know once you're done configuring this and let's say you build another computer down the road you can always just save this configuration utility um, or rather the config file once it's complete and then you can save that into a folder and then when you build another PC you can just just transfer 
that old config file into your new PC and then you won't have to re uh, re repeat all these processes that you did this first time as I'm showing you now. So anyway, that's it for uh, configuring some of the GoFlight hardware and uh, stay tuned to the website for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.